Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got something a little bit different for me today. Um, I've been contacted again by VIPCrossStitch.com. Um, I did an unboxing for them, oh, possibly about a year ago. Um, and I got a lovely punch needle, little Shiba in you, and I got um a little uh, beaded cross stitch and they contacted me and said uh, would I like to show some products for them again so obviously it's a predominantly uh, cross stitching uh, company but I said yes of course I'm always uh, happy to uh, have a look at new products and see what's going on so there are quite a few special offers on their website at the moment as well and um, I'll put a, a little screenshot in Um, but if you buy four items, one of them will be free and there is 7% discount as well. So lots of discounts and things. Pop over to their website and have a look. And let's see what I got this time. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put that one that way up over there. Or you can see him anyway. Never mind. <laughs> and then I've got one of those. And I've got another one of those. And then I've got okay so it's as i said you know me if i go onto uh, a website i always like to go and look at the tools and the bits and pieces that they have and i saw this and i thought oh i haven't got one of those or i had one um and uh, it's not in very good condition now i used to do a lot of sewing i used to make uh, soft toy animals constantly and i did make a cabbage patch doll once as well i think it may still be in the loft uh, it's one of those things that it took me so long to do because i hand stitched a lot of it uh, that uh, yeah I didn't really want to get rid of it anyway so this is a lovely oops, needle case let me see if I can get into it Do you know all these companies have these packets that I can never open <laughs> okay so it's wooden it's lovely polished wood finished off really really nicely and oh sorry sorry oh it needs a little bit of uh, WD-40 or something on it and it's a little needle case and I thought yeah I definitely need a new needle case uh, nicely finished off with gold there uh, it does need a little bit of something on that uh, and there but I just thought yeah that's gonna be yeah uh, I'm not gonna hang on I'll, I'll pause it a second right you're okay now it's safe to look again or listen again Um, it's quite a good size as well and nicely rounded as I said but I just thought oh a needle case yes and this was three pounds and sixty three pence on the website. So it's about eight ish centimeters, which is about three and a quarter ish inches. So a nice size. What width are we there? So it's about one and a half centimeters, which is about half an inch, just slightly over half an inch in depth. So you can get plenty of needles in there as well. Uh, and it's just nice, you know, if you are wanting to say carry needle and thread or something around in your handbag, then uh, you could thread a needle with some thread, some emergency thread. <laughs> and just keep that in your handbag. It's just, uh, yeah, all nice and secure. And you're not going to stab yourself uh, with your needles either. And they're not going to come out of there with it being that screw lid. Um, oh, sorry about that. Nails down the blackboard. Yeah, maybe put a tumble dry sheet or something over it. Just need to... A little bit of something on it to stop it squeaking Ugh. so yeah that was my first little item that i got and seeing as you can see what this one is let's have a look at this so it's beaded cross stitch sort of a, a crossover between diamond painting and let me open it first diamond painting and cross stitch and I thought yeah I'll give that a go so of course it had to be a gnome Mindy I'm still blaming you for all these gnomes <laughs> but it's quite a nice little picture and it's a gnome holding a moon look very nice oh and the moon's asleep look it's laid on its back it's like it's cradling the moon rock a bye baby <laughs> there's your little chart which oh it's like laminated on the back uh, showing you your sizing and everything and you've got your DMC codes anybody that's a diamond painter will know your DMC codes all there look telling you your different colours uh, yeah okay and then this is your instruction sheet telling you how to do 
your different embroidery stitches, your cross stitching there. We've got French knots, uh, cast off there, back stitching, continuous cross stitch, three quarter stitch, quarter stitch, half stitch and a whole stitch. So it tells you all there, cleaning and maintenance. Uh, and telling you what to do there. So that's quite a, a comprehensive uh, little instruction sheet there. Okay, for your cross stitching. Right, and this is your chart. All your threads look all on your colour uh, card here. Very nice. So it gives you all your numbers there, numbered down, and then tells you your DMC code. So it's quite a different colour palette, this look. We've got all the nice purples and everything at this side and then we've got the more muted tones at this side oh very good okay so it's not something that i've done cross stitching i have done stitching and i've done uh, various different things i did a lot of school uh, and so i've done a lot of sewing but i've never really done cross stitch because uh, my eyesight's not fantastic but i did think that maybe beaded cross stitch using my magnifying light would be easier to do and this is a lovely big piece of is it Aida and yeah these are like we used to do at school oh look I've got my needle there so oh, I've got two needles right I'm going to take those needles out of there and put them so uh, close your ears a moment and put those needles straight into my needle case Okay, so they're nice and secure. Close your ears again. Oh, actually, it's not squeaking as much now. I think it was just that initial opening that squeaked the most. But yeah, it's it's easier for me to see. Even without um, my glasses on, I can see where the squares are. So anybody that's like a seasoned cross-stitcher and uses um, your different thread counts, your smaller thread counts, and actually uses a piece of material, then uh, this might be a bit easier for you. But uh, for me, this is fantastic because I can see these little squares and I can see where I need to cross stitch in. And each cross will have a bead on it. And then look at all these beads. Oh my goodness. It's just like getting a diamond painting look. They're all in little bags as well. <laughs> and again, we've got uh, the codes there telling you which one goes on which one. So this for me is like a beginner cross stitcher or as like somebody that hasn't got brilliant eyesight is great because I can see it and then as far as I know once it's done you wash this canvas and then you just end up with your little gnome in the middle with all his beads on so yeah okay let's get, let's just have a look at these beads so there's 18 oops 18 different colours and each of the colours has a bead that matches in with it so wow okay so we're starting off uh, oh we're going backwards okay see if I can do this and show you these oh this is quite exciting actually I'm quite um yeah I think I'll have a go at this I think I should be able to do this I think I can see that quite well actually so I, I was just looking because I thought I don't want to uh, get a product and then not be able to do it justice you know if somebody's sending me something to show on my channel I don't want to say well I don't cross stitch so you know but I'll show you this and um, I wanted to, something that I could have a go at and um, and I just thought yeah that's something that because it's the beads I can probably see to go through the beads to put them on because I can see to diamond paint with my magnifying light that I've got so that was my idea behind it I've probably given myself something that's maybe a little bit more uh, time consuming or more difficult to do I'm not quite sure uh, probably just doing the stitching is easier than trying to get the beads on as well my problem will probably be remembering to put the bead on <laughs> If I stop concentrating and start thinking about something else, I'll be sewing away and I'll forget to put the bead on. So I must remember to put the beads on. So number 18 matches with this colour here, which is 3865. So, oh, that's quite different then. That's a very sort of see through -y colour. If that was um, the gem in your diamond painting, then that would be a very sort of creamy, wintery white colour, but that's quite a see through bead. Okay. 
and then we've got your brownie colour there which is 3864 again that's like a, a winter white type colour with diamond painting okay oh this is quite exciting I'm quite looking at enjoying doing this 3856 that's number 16 to match like a peachy thread there uh, 3756 is like that's like a wintry white greyish colour Oh, look at that. They look like they're a little bit AB coated, don't they? They look like they've got a coating on them rather than just a flat colour. These are going to be very, very sparkly. So number 14 is 3753. Number 13 is matching in with that grey colour look. But that's definitely got uh, lots of different colours in with it sparkling there. Oh, like this. So that's 3752. We've got uh, number 12. Now that looks beigey, but that looks quite sort of peachy, very pale, peachy, pinky colour there, which that one is 951. Then we've got uh, 931. That, that does quite match up to that one, but yeah, they're definitely, they're definitely iridescent, these beads. They've got different colours on them. They're not just a flat colour. Very sparkly. Oh, we've got a lovely gold there. Look, 842. Look at that. It's got gold and all different pinky colours and everything in there. Then we've got another blue colour there, number nine. Now, that's quite a very deep uh, blue for the thread, but uh, the bead is a lot lighter colour, so that will be interesting. That's 823. 822 is your beige colour again there. And oh, look at that colour. Wow. Oh, I love these. Oh, I could just sit and stare at these all day. Uh, number seven is 797. And oh, that's a definite peachy colour there. Look. And that is 758. No, it's not. That is, yes, it is 758. Ooh. It's got um, a greenish, ah, I suppose that's just for the charting. I'm thinking it's showing a green colour there, but that's just for the charting because they've probably used a lot of the other colours. And then we're on to like our purples. So number five is 552. Five, number four is 550. Five. Oh, oh, that's a lovely deep, but there's definitely more than one colour showing there as you move it in the light. Very pretty. Number three is a three, two, seven, with a bit paler colour. And number two is 209. And number one is 208. So all the purples to go with the purple threads. Oh, this is going to be great fun to do. Uh, it will probably take me a long time, uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So I'm so so pleased I got this kit and the price of this on the website at the moment is £7.85 and it's a very good size as well. Let me give uh, the actual picture size a measure. So we'll measure where the little grid goes up to. So it is seven and a half inches, which is uh, 19 centimetres by... 11 between 11 uh, well just under 11 and a half between 11 and a quarter and 11 and a half inches which is 29 centimeters so yeah nice little size as well but yeah i think i can do that i think uh, it's, yeah just reminds me of going back to school we always used to use these things uh, and we had bigger ones as well you know the ones with the bigger squares the bigger holes on them the bigger thread count i think uh, but yeah i'm uh, quite impressed with that well i'm very impressed with that actually not quite i'm very impressed okay so let's pop this back over there and we'll have a look at the other little bits and pieces that i got okay so these have uh, had something similar before are two again beaded cross stitch because I did think the beading is probably something I can do a little bit more easily. And we've got a tiger because, as you know, um, the whole city football team is the Tigers and footballs because, yeah, I've got a lot of uh, people in my family that support football and these are key ring sets. So I thought these would be uh, quite nice to do. Um, 
definitely will have people to uh, gift them to once they are done. I also have um, my nephew's lovely fiance uh, does cross stitch as well, so I thought she may like to have a go at doing these as well. May give her one to do. Okay, so we have our chart here, our little uh, bit of, I think it's Ada, isn't it? With the little holes in. And then all the different bits and pieces. It is just one that you get, but it's double sided. And then you put the bit of stuff. Gosh, that is an awful lot of stuffing to go in the middle of there. <laughs> If you're not very good at cutting out rounds, then actually, um, if you just use a little bit of soapy water, um, well, actually, you could leave it on. You could actually just cut this in half or you could actually just sew it um, like that and sew it as a square rather than cutting it as a round if you didn't want to uh, cut out your circles. Uh, and then, as I say, once you've done it, you do wash them. So, uh, yeah, all the background does come out. So, yeah. Um, oh gosh, that's different instructions, but we have got pictures as well, look, to show us, so that's really good. Okay, there's a few different ones on the back there. Uh, the price of these on the website at the moment is £3, oh, the football was £2.80 and the Tiger is £3.24. So, you know, they're just smaller projects to have a go at. Uh, you've got your chart there and everything to do as well. Um are they both the same or is it one's reversed? Possibly one's reversed. And there's your squashed flies look on your chart. Um, yeah, if you're when I've been when I first started diamond painting and I used to see these on the corners, uh, on the middles of my diamond painting charts, uh, canvases, I used to think, oh, a squashed fly. And I don't know, I think it was a squashed fly when I first got it. But now I realise it's to do with the cross stitching and that's why. <laughs> It's quite a lovely little comprehensive kit here. Okay, so we have ooh, a lot of needles in there. Look, we only got two with the little gnome, but we actually have four. Yeah, we've got four needles in that one. Your little keychain to attach it to. You only need two of your colours. Oh, we've got the um, like see-through thread. Yeah, you can't see it, Liz. Uh, let me see if I put it on this red. You'll maybe see it. Because it's invisible. <laughs> yeah, you can so yeah, you can see it a little bit there. So we've got that as well. That will be for doing the edges, so you can't see the threads. So that's all your thread that you need. I said they do seem to have an awful lot, and um, so I think there will be quite a bit spare. Okay, let me just put these back in here so they don't get tangled up. You've got your two lots of your beads and these are just your standard black and white they're not like the ones in the gnome that have got the iridescent coating on but i mean it's a football so you do just want it plain but you can create a little present for somebody and if you've got anybody that's just starting out i mean if you didn't want to put the beads on you don't have to you could just literally cross stitch those and not bother with the beads use your beads on something else but uh, yeah, I just think beaded is going to make it a little bit more special. Taking the time to do it for somebody as well, I think that's great. Let me just pop this one away and then we'll have a look at the tiger, which I believe will be more or less the same thing, but it will be a tiger. So put that in there. Okay. Maybe I should do one of the smaller kits first before I start on the big kit. And then I'll learn uh, uh, my limitations, won't I? <laughs> okay, so that's that one. So if there's a, an easy way to do something and a hard way, I always do the hard way. It's just the way I'm made. <laughs> so let's have a look at our little tiger. Oh, look at those. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, he's definitely... Wow, they do give you a lot of stuffing. That is an awful lot of stuffing. Okay, he's a definite tiger with attitude. Look at this. So it's the same instructions again. I mean, I suppose you could scan that into Google Translate if you uh, need to read what that says. You've got your little chart there as well. Um, 
with your numbers and everything but you do get your diagram on telling you how to do it and you have got your chart as well there but yeah he's a definite oh, i'm the boss oh that's fab and again if you didn't want to um cut your tiger out and sew him together you could just literally fold him in half and i mean if you didn't want him as a key ring you could always use him as like a little purse or a little bag or even just like a little pin cushion you know you could do him um and i mean there's enough wad in there to make that into like a little pin cushion or something and just sew it up together and uh, yeah you could keep your needles or pins or whatever in it it certainly doesn't have to be a cut out key ring if you're not wanting to cut something out but oh, that's a great tiger with attitude yay oh i didn't measure that one did i let me uh, just measure the tiger he's six centimeters from his tail to his dummy at that side so about three-ish inches yeah they're going to be about the same size the size of the canvas is nine and a half which is sort of three and three quarters so you're looking at sort of between three and four centimeters square on these and i think that one's about the same so they're, they're pretty yeah a good size to do oh he's lovely and look at these colors oh wow okay You have your lovely little keychain there as well to make it into a keychain if that's what you want to do. Got three lots of beads, oh, four lots of beads. So we've got the white, oh, it's silver actually. So it's your black, you've got a lovely silver, you've got like this honey gold, orangey gold, and then you've got like a bright, uh, sort of yellowy gold as well. So some nice contrasts in those beads there. And then again, your threads looks like we've just got three colours of thread and we have got invisible thread as well. You will have to take my word for it. There is invisible thread there. <laughs> OK, wow, that's uh, fantastic. Oh, I've really enjoyed looking at these. I can't wait to start doing that no I'm going to have to put some time to one side because I will have to concentrate because it is something new to me so it's not just like a diamond painting where I can just sit and switch off and um, I am going to have to think about what I'm doing that's not something I do very often <laughs> maybe I can do it as a whip and chat and then you can all laugh at me while I'm trying to cross stitch that'd be fun <laughs> okay well I've really enjoyed looking at these oh my goodness me this is just super, I just love it. It's, uh, yeah, we've got a little gnome with all our threads and a lovely little picture there. And then we've got a little tiger to do and a little football to do. So, yeah. Let's say, oh, and don't forget our little needle case as well, which we've got needles in. Okay. Well, huge thank you to uh, VIP Cross Stitch for sending me these to show you. Um, I think the fab, I say it's something for me new to try. I won't say I've never done cross stitch because I'm sure I did do some bits of sewing and probably cross stitch was in some of that when I was at school. But that is an awfully long time ago. So, yeah, something new to me. Um, I am going to have a go at this because I do think it's going to look super when it's done. And I want to uh, do it justice and have a go because I think it's a little girl gnome as well, isn't it? I've just realised it's no beard. So it's a little girl gnome rocking a moon. Oh, rock a baby. Anyway, OK. So as I say, again, a huge thank you to VIP Cross Stitch. Don't forget to go and check out their website with those special offers on and money off at the moment. If you have got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. Have you done beaded cross stitch? Is it more difficult to do than that normal cross stitch? Am I setting myself up for a fall? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.